Well, just about all of us at one time or another have attempted perfection when it comes to making the sandwich. Just the right amount of meat, maybe a little bit of lettuce, some pickles perhaps, and mustard or mayo on the perfect slices of bread. But there's a better and healthier way to build a perfect sandwich. And here to help us do just that is Brett Blumenthal. She's the CEO of Be Healthy Boston and the author of Get Real and Stop Dieting, by the way, a title I love. Great. Right. I'm glad so, you like that. Yes, very Men much. Men seem so. to like that more than women. <laughs> That's true. It's like, oh, i got to stop it. I want to live a little bit. But the sandwich has been kind of demonized. Yes, that's true. And that's not right. That's not right. You can have a very healthy sandwich. And we're going to tell you about the components that can make the healthy sandwich. It's going to give you more energy and sustained fullness throughout the day. And, and you, anybody who enjoys a sandwich knows uh, that, that's a good thing. Um, now, you have to have the right stuff, so to speak, in order to be healthy here. That's you can't right. just slap anything on two slices of bread. Sure. So let's get specific here in terms of, of what is in the middle. Well, actually, let's start on what's on, the, on the outside the first because the bread's important. Right. The, the trick with the bread, and that's where the demonization comes into yes. play, um, you want two grams of fiber a minimum. You want them to be really high in fiber, um, so at least two grams of fiber per slice. Whole is a key ingredient here, so whole grains, whole 100% whole wheat, all good. So when, you, when you're purchasing the bread, you read uh, you know, on the label, 100% whole wheat. Yep. And is there anything you want to look for that you should avoid? You want avoid? to avoid sugars. Right. And you want high fiber. Right. And they're usually the white breads we all know by now. So Stay away, away from the white, yeah. Very processed. Okay. Now, so we've got, we've got yep. the ends. So the now we ends. have the middle. Right. And we're going to talk about protein. The key here is you want three ounces of protein, which is about the size of a deck of cards. Um, and you want to make sure it's lean, so low in saturated fat. The best things you can do, obviously a lot of people go to cold cuts, but they're high in sodium and nitrates, so you kind of want to avoid those. You want to go more for the whole foods. Grilled chicken at night, mm -hmm. put it on your sandwiches in the morning. Fat-free cheese or low-fat cheese, fat-free fat is actually tasty. Um, and then, of course, your fish, your canned fish is really high in omega-3, is really healthy. And then if you're a vegetarian or vegan, go with the beans. They have tons of great nutrients. Okay, we're talking about the fish now. you get the tuna fish in. And, and this is where I get into trouble because it goes on the bread, too. The mayo, too. yeah. The mayo or whatever. Is there yeah. something healthier you can yes, mix the absolutely. tuna fish with? I personally use either a combination of oil and vinegar, which is a, a very light way, or lemon juice even. Okay. Um, but what you can do if you really love mayo is mix a non-fat Greek yogurt with a little bit of mustard, and it's going to give you that little tang taste, but also the texture of the mayo. Will the uh, low-fat mayo uh, take care of the issues? No, uh. because a lot right, of them have not list. such great ingredients. They, yeah. they use artificial things to make up okay. for what you don't want, right? So, All right, hands off the mayo. But okay. that's where I get in in trouble really is with some of these other things is, yeah. is the mayo. But they're they're uh, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich is something I want to ask you about too. But the, the peanut butter is, is can be okay, but there are alternatives to that too. Right. Well peanut butter is really healthy if you're choosing the right ones. Um, these in particular are nut butters that are all natural and they have no sugar, so or no added preservatives even. So they're just the nuts. Okay. And if you use that, that's a great way to go. And instead of jam or jelly, I like to tell people to use, this is great for kids, um, whole apple slices because that will give you the sweetness. Drizzle it with a little honey, and it's going to be a much more nutritious option than just the old peanut butter and jelly. All right. But if you do... Can you have the, just the peanut butter without the sugar? <laughs> yeah, I guess you <laughs> I'm could. I'm trying to find out what I can get away with here. It's you can have it's peanut butter. Yeah. Go for it. And, okay. you know, if you want a little jam. But, but you want the stuff that's a little more apple. all natural as opposed to some of the brand names. Right. Stuff that, you know, if it's water and you get to stir it, that's the type of peanut butter you're looking for. Yes, actually, I mean, I stirred these up before the show. But, yeah, there's, there's generally some sedimentation that occurs, and that's a good sign. Okay. Let's move on down here a little yeah. bit because you get some stuff to Tons add in once you, vegetables as you're layering, fruit. as we would that's like to say. That's right. A lot of people forget that vegetables and fruit are great additions to your sandwiches. You want very colorful vegetables and fruit because those are going to be higher in antioxidants and okay. nutrients. Um, you can go wild, really, because you can't have enough vegetables. So lots of carrots. I like cherry tomatoes. They hold their, their kind of texture better than a big beef steak to mm -hmm. tomato, which can make your bread soggy, especially right. if you're packing it right. for the day. Right. And then these are our spreads and our spices. Spices can add great texture to and flavor to a sandwich. So sun-dried tomatoes. This is an olive tapenade. So that gives a lot of nice flavor, and it's really just chopped up olives and mm -hmm. olive oil. Um, mustard, obviously, is yep. really healthy. It's low fat. And then I mentioned it earlier, non-fat Greek yogurt is great because it's high in protein, and you want that protein in your sandwich. 
And then hummus, too, is really great. All good stuff. Now, we want to remind people that uh, you're going to have something going on in January, That's right? That's right, yeah. Give us uh, some details of what's going on. It's called Be Healthy it. Boston, right. and it's basically a two-day urban wellness retreat. And we're inviting everybody from the local area to enjoy. We're going to have free... Um, we're going to have free components within the event. You register, you buy your ticket, and you get free massages, free facials, uh, free fitness classes. So lots of great things to look forward right. to. Here's the book again, Get Real and Stop Dieting. There's the information on the event coming up. A great way to kick off the year because everybody's thinking about getting healthier in January. And here's the best way to do it. So, uh, for, again, for more information, you can visit uh, BeHealthyBoston.com. And uh, visit SheerBalance.com for more great tips from Brett as well. We appreciate you coming in, Brett. Thanks Thank so you much very much. For I'm going to have a sandwich for lunch now. Great. I feel much better about Take it. Take any of this. <laughs>